Hi everyone, thanks for taking the time to check out the channel. Is this a UFO on the surface of the moon? Well, I'll tell you what. Everyone says it's a crater. That's what NASA says. I know it's not a crater, and that's what's concerning me. Here at Tycho Crater, the two paths leaving over top, you can see, because I've turned the moon around. Look at the colors on the surface. All these ridges, structures. Here, do you know what you're seeing in this photo? This is, these white spots on the surface are actual structures and or anomalistic objects, whatever you want them to be, they're built. They were put there. It's in a city, it's surrounded, it's on the surface of the moon, it's not pixelated. You can clearly see each individual size and structure by pausing this. So many nice shots of the moon, and these shots are where I magnify and with my technique and zoom up into um, the shots. But of course, I do have a telescope that's only four inches. But let me tell you one thing it's a 1500 millimeter Celestron scope, and it goes very well. No, I've never ever zoomed up to 1500 millimeters, nor have I even tried 14, 13, or even 12. I can only zoom up, the most I've ever zoomed up was 1,100 once in my life, twice at 1,000. Here we're looking at a UFO, guys. Look at these back and forth, two frames going in and across the chemtrail and moving, coming out the end, moving wind, displacing air if you want. Just some more proof. Here, I'm going to show you guys, Copernicus, I found a massive tower or pipe or... Uh, chimney if you want you see where this ridge comes down supposed mountain top right here look at the end of it I'll show you in detail a couple of other uh, frames pans here as you'll see you're gonna have to look very carefully here in x-ray where I always love looking at the surface in x-ray but wait till you see at the end of this mountain there I'm, you haven't seen anything yet I'm sure because you haven't noticed it yet but once you notice that it's astonishing and i don't understand how the heck i was not able to have noticed it taking hundreds if not thousands of photos of copernicus just wait we'll pan over again but first i want to mention something to you you see this blue that's on the surface of the moon i believe it's water i believe it now more than ever and you'll see the pipe that is going straight down into the ground that has blue all around it that I found at the end of Copernicus. Copernicus is connected to Kepler, and then Kepler to Aristarchus, Copernicus to Aristarchus, straight, direct path pipes. Now look here coming up. See at the end of the supposed mountain on the right here? Look at the bottom in the brackets here. Look at the straight pipe standing up right there on the platform, guys. Look at this. It's a white, very large platform, couple of miles, and you see a couple miles tower, towering object, whether it be a pipe or a chimney or whatever it may be, it's there, it's proof. This is absolutely amazing, seeing it so close to Copernicus Crater. I'm sure no one's noticing it. Here it is again in the brackets, standing up right at the end of that ridge there. Now we're gonna see it magnified. It's even more compelling, even more stunning, and the proof is, the proof is there as blurry as, it's, as it is. There it is, not bad at all. On a platform, another connecting pipe that goes to the back and two to the front. And of course, I believe the water is all around Tycho Crater at the bottom edge there, where you're seeing the green here in x-ray is where the lights are. And the water is connected, leaves Tycho Crater through all these pipes, whether it be for terraforming the moon that could be a, a plausible possibility, whether it be whatever they're producing. But we all think that the lights are, are um, what are making the company's industrials um, go. What if it's the opposite? What if these industrial companies are actually furnishing that light? Maybe everyone on the moon that's living there, if there is a species, are all working together in the companies just to keep this massive light on the surface of the moon. So this is what happens. We find a structure, we talk about it, we get some likes, people are amazed, we move on. How can we move on? I've been finding these amazing things. 
on this channel, guys, the ones that have been following me, you know that I'm not lying. I found many structures, many towers, bridges. Well, what looks like structures and bridges and towers? Obviously, we're looking at very symmetrical shapes on the surface of the moon. It's, you know, this area here, even looking in the x-ray right now, we usually don't see all these lines as much. We see it more blurry. Another trick, guys, an x-ray shot does take away 25 to 50% of the blurriness that you have in um, uh, your photo, absolutely, or in the video. Look here at the top over the magnifying lens. You can see uh, a pipe or bridge going over what looks like water there in a the basin. Uh, I'm starting to see it now. The water is connected from Mare Serenitatis that goes down to Copernicus. Here's the pipe right there. All around it, you see the blue substance. and the blue on the bottom that we see is moving. I'm not positive about the top right here, um, whether it be just a, I don't know. I don't think it's the blue line, oxygen blue line, because it's not the same blue. It really looks like a darker, clear water blue, cold water blue, it sort of looks like. Yeah, it's just more proof, more evidence on the surface. Here it is again. This is just underneath. Mare Serenitatis, and you see the line that looks like a literal lake or river, big river or massive lake that comes down, all connected. I would not say as big as oceans, but I'd say pretty pretty damn big. And here, beside Copernicus Crater, we see all this blue that is what seems to be ridge lines. It's just, I'm pretty sure that it has to be some kind of liquid. I mean, we're seeing a pipe, right? If we're seeing pipes on the surface of the moon, it's because one of two things. One, they're traveling through them, or two, they're sending something through it, whether it be a liquid or a gas, whether it be an oxygen line on the moon. I mean, like an oxygen pipe that's going from a closed pod to closed pod, maybe oxygen sent to every sealed area. I don't know. We don't know. If we were humans, you'd think that that's what humans would do, right? Get an oxygen pipeline going on the surface of the moon and then another pipeline mining and then we'd, there'd just be basically pipes probably all over the dark moon. Well, that is what we are seeing. We are seeing a great amount of pipes on the surface of the moon. They're just all over the place. I always thought, never ruled out, the moon could be a big filtering processing machine. Just processing, recycling everything that's being used on uh, planets and other planets from species and whatnot. And I'm sure maybe even lots from Earth has gone there. We know accumulation of uh, toxic materials have disappeared many a times on Earth. And that's aside from throwing it near damn oceans or the rivers, you know. We don't know what's going on on Earth, guys. Harp and all this. You know, we got animals dying now, frequencies, microwaving. We're microwaving the entire Earth's atmosphere. That's what we're doing. And I believe that we're microwaving all the birds in it. Look up HARP. It has to do with microwave. They're literally sending microwaves into the sky. High quantity, high frequency microwaves, guys. Look this up. It's something not to be toyed with, seems to me. It's... Uh, it's hard to believe that somebody has access to that power on Earth, not being a government or a political. You know what I mean? You know, um, there's the proof right there that there are different people ruling Earth, and we can see that really, really clearly. You know, the president doesn't have a certain authority over um, alien. Men in Black, etc., because it's another division, it's another higher ruler. As simple as that, you know, when you think of it. Guys, thanks a lot. Check out the link in the description for the Big Mama Scope. Well, what do you think of this beauty? You know what? I'm going to give you guys a trick because I know a lot of you, as I, did not know this. But when filtering, when editing a, a picture, whether it be of space or of anywhere you are, even here on Earth, it's not always 
the sharpen button that we have to up. And we all have a tendency to first sharpen a photo. This photo, I brought the clarity absolutely down to zero. And you can clearly see that there's a haze over top or atmospheric um, disturbance over top of this beautiful structured surface. And it's better seen this way with the, the clarity and the sharpness down. Contrast also down. Because what happens when you up everything, it sharpens the haze that's over top of the, and the atmosphere and it, you'll get lines and or pixels. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the force, the ones that are helping me get the big mama telescope. This is our goal. This is the community's goal. We're going to get the scope. I can't wait. I'm going nuts. The money's going up. Contributions left and right. Guys, I love you all for this. Regis Weishweg, seven-time donor. Seven donations, $135 donation for a total of $529. Man, it's half a thousand. It's more than half a thousand dollars. Regis Weishwey, thanks so much for the support, man. I don't know what to say. I really appreciate it. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep it up. Uh, between my work, between uh, other things happening here, every day I'm on it, guys. Don't worry about it. We're going to get that scope. And tonight, I'm going to try to be on the moon between storms.